Eto beya o laye Tabalu wa mi kilele Pelu wa shemi Daughter, this is the day the Lord has made that Ahoyza, you will be going to your husband's place today. It is the day of the Lord. You will rejoice and be glad in it. God, we thank you for keeping her, for bringing glory to your name and to the family. Father, it's not by her power, it's not by her might, neither is it by my power. It is by your grace. Thank you for keeping her. Lord, I bring her before your throne of mercy, O God, that your grace will go with her. Amen. The peace of the Lord will go with you. Amen. That grace called favor is will rest upon you and your household in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is David Fivo Ahoyza, soon to be Mrs. Beckley. Um, about the man I'm marrying, Lua Damilola. Lua Damilola is a firm yet soft lover. He is really kind. He loves the Lord and by the grace of God seeks to know him every day, which is something I really love about him. I really admire his um, firmness and softness. I admire his childlike heart. He's an all-round great guy in my books, and I'm grateful that I got one of God's sons, and I just think to be a good enough daughter to steward this this man that he has given me. Um, Roa Damilola Beckley, as you like, you like your full name. When you see this, I want you to know that I love you. I want you to know that I'm willing to do all that this journey will take. I'm willing to, by the grace of God, learn and understand you better yeah thank you i love you Mwah. <laughs> Well, I first of all say thank you to God for making this day possible. Um, without Him, this day wouldn't have been. And to me, my own so much gratitude. I usually say, hey, like, like a piece of heaven that God just crafted out for me. I want to say thank you for doing this with me. 
I promise you that you won't regret it one bit, not one moment, not for a second. And you see, man, ah, here maybe I should be in that. I'm not happy. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. Yeah. And that's to you, my, my Mrs. B.